from the flight deck to your TV set. From the flight deck to your TV set, you're watching Five Minutes with Herb. And never more has my tagline been uh, more pertinent than today. Because my guest happens to, uh, in a previous life, been an airline captain. He had over 10,000 hours flying various aircraft, such as the Lockheed L-1011 TriStar, the Boeing 757 and 767, and an airplane near and dear to my heart, the Boeing 737. All during that time, he's been a health and safety advocate. Transitioning out of aviation, he founded the Fact Not Fiction Films, where he has directed and produced over 20 feature films and documentaries, and also has done some corporate promotional films. Oh, and did I happen to mention he's also an author? He authored the book titled Toxic Airlines. So without further ado, let's welcome aboard Captain Tristan Lorraine. Thank you very much for having me on your show. So let's just get right into it. Um, myself being a pilot, I know it all started with me as, as kind of a dream. You know, you're out at the airport watching the airplanes uh, take off and, and um, you, you just kind of start as a kid as a dream. So can you give us a little background on how you uh, started off in aviation? Sure. I mean, I was 17. I was at school in Northern Ireland and what they called the Troubles. And, uh, you know, people were trying to kill each other every day. There was a war going on. And I thought, hey, I want to be a pilot. So I used to take two and a half hours to get a bus to the airport. And I learned to fly an airplane before I could drive a car. It was, as you know, it's just the first time you fly an airplane on your own. It's the most exciting feeling ever. So you learn it at your flying club over there, and then I saw that you came over to the U.S. to uh, continue on with your licenses and ratings. I did, yes. Yeah. So in, uh, in 82, 83, I was out in California in the Bay Area, and I was doing my commercial single engine, multi, and all that stuff. And then I had to build up my hours, because anybody who you know, gets in the industry, you've got to build up your hours. So I thought, well, where can I fly to build up my hours? And I loved it. Flying in America is the best because you guys really know how to do aviation. So I got to ask, we, we transition out of aviation and you end up going into media, um, founding your company, Fact Not Fiction Films. How, how was that transition? Well, you know, I had a story to tell. And, and you know, I basically, I'd been ill health retired. You know, I was only 44. And I thought, well, I can either sue the airline and there's no way I'm going to win because they've got more money than I have. So I thought I should put the story in the public domain. So I went and retrained. Uh, and, you know, making films, there's a lot of commonality to being an, an airline pilot, airline captain, because you're managing a situation. You're, you're having to manage people. You need to know a lot about everything, but not too much on everything. So, do you know what I mean? So, you know, you've got camera crews, sound people. So it's like managing a team, really. And, uh, and that's how it all came about. Yeah, and I was going to ask, um, you go into that, and I, I was able to, to view a couple of your films, um, Dark Reflection and Everybody Flies. Um, so that, I, you know, Dark Reflection, I guess, would be the fictional version of Everybody Flies, correct? Yes, yeah, it's, it's funny you watch that film, because when we, we shot it on 35 mil, and you know, we made the film, and afterwards, a film critique came up to me and said, you know what? It's a good film, but you haven't got any A-list actors. So where, what's the film ever going to do? And he said, you know the issue. Go and make the definitive documentary. I went, okay, I'll go and do that. So that's how it actually came about after A Dark Reflection. Ah, okay, okay. That, I, I enjoyed, I mean, the acting to me was fine. Um, one of the things I was going to mention, you know, as, and you've seen this, we see aviation films and as pilots and even folks in the industry, we look and we cringe because we see a lot of, you know, the details aren't correct. It's, it, it, you know, there's just so much stuff out there and we kind of laugh. However, watching yours, I was like, oh my God, this, everything is, I mean, it, it's, it fits within the storyline, the, the technical language, all the stuff, it fits. So to me, uh, I thought it was wonderful. I know. In America, the film's called Flight 313, The Conspiracy. They renamed it because, you know, the Americans thought it would be better branding. But it was, but when we shot the film, obviously, you know, we want, we're fact, not fiction films. So we want to make it factually yeah. accurate. I can remember making a dark reflection in on times going off to just wanting to get away from everybody just to get some headspace because it's nonstop. It's like being in the simulator for like 
10 weeks nonstop every day. <laughs> and we both know we don't, I mean, we usually do a couple hours and we take a break. Uh, to be in the sim for that period of time, literally, it would, it would drive you insane. Um, before we continue on, before we finish up, I got to ask, what, what's, uh, what do you have on the future for us? Well, we're making another short form documentary on the, the same issue, actually. Um, and we're working on a, a heist film based on an aviation theme. So, you know, lots of things, uh, lots of projects to keep us going. And I'm also uh, writing a book about the, the whole journey that I've been on. So before we let you go, I got to get you into the lightning round. Okay, as a pilot, what was your favorite city? Rome. Rome, okay. A more difficult task, uh, running a marathon or long distance cycling? Running the marathon. What, do you, what was harder for you to uh, quote unquote master, being a pilot or a TV producer? TV producer. Last one, are you a guy that prefers to watch the sunset or the sunrise? Sunset. <laughs> you and me both, sir. I, I'm, I'm a night guy. I'm not, not a morning. I'm not an early guy. Trust me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching another episode of Five Minutes with Herb. Catch you on the next one.